Oh, uh, Bert, uh, you needn't trouble to see the inspector. He's assigned another man to that detail. I suppose you saw to that. Hold on a minute, Layton. Ever since I joined up, you've made things tough for me. Yes, plenty tough. Now you've spoiled the first decent chance I've had. I've a mind to... Don't forget you, Burke. Hey, what's wrong? You see, Outlaw Camp Valley, down there. Any guards posted on this side? Oh, no. That is why I bring you this place. All right. Here. Here's your money. Oh, merci, monsieur. I wish you luck. I hope you get Lafarge. Thanks. It's Leighton. Blackie, let's get him into the inspector. Ambush, sir. He has about a dozen slugs in him. That might have been you, Burke. Blackie, notify Dr. Hutter. Have him arrange a detail to take care of the body. Yes, sir. Burke, I want to have a word with you. I think you ought to know that Sergeant Layton recommended you for this assignment. 
He recommended me? Yes. He had great confidence in your ability and wanted you to have the assignment. And until he discovered there was only about one chance in a hundred of coming back alive. Then he took it himself. Inspector, will you assign me to this case now? I suppose you realize that your chances are no better than Leighton's. Yes, I know. But it's the least I can do to try to bring back his killers. I rather thought you'd feel that way about it. Very well, I'll explain the situation. This Lafarge is at the head of a well-organized gang. They've been terrorizing the Nyack territory for several months, robbing and murdering trappers, raiding stores. They have spies everywhere and seem to know every move we make, even before we do. Well, where are their headquarters? Nobody knows. Probably a hideout in the hills. May I handle this in my own way, sir? Yes. Don't send any more Mounties. Let's go. Hatfield's offering a reward, huh? Well, I didn't think he had that much money left, the way Lafarge has been raiding his store every two, three weeks. <laughs> you know, it seems like he's got a special grudge against Hatfield. Yep, he does. seems to be plastered with those reward notices. That Lafarge must be a pretty bad boy. He's a terror, all right. I think I heard something about him. Oh, yeah. Say, didn't he knock off a couple of Mounties lately? Well, I don't know about that. But he and his gang lay for the trappers when they come down the river the winner's catch. They shoot them in cold blood and then take their furs. Well, you ain't got no proof it's Lafarge. Didn't he raid your camp and murder your son? Well, we were attacked and I was struck down before I saw who it was. But I never believed it was Lafarge, though. No? Any man that'll attack a trading post in the open won't strike in the dark. So you don't think Lafarge is as bad as he's painted? No, sir, I don't. And I'll tell you why. When I was sick, he sent his sister with food and medicine. Now, any man that'll do that ain't going to later attack me and murder my son. No, I wouldn't think so. <clears throat> well, I must be going. <clears throat> 
much obliged for the drink. So long, old timer. Uh, what about this sister? Well, they say that she rides with the Lafarge on all these rings. Some girl. Yeah, probably six feet tall and bull-legged. <laughs> You know, if I were you, I wouldn't ask so many questions about Lafarge. Why? It ain't healthy. your reward up. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing there? I'm doubling that reward, boys. That's a mighty generous reward. Would you be interested in earning it? I might. You see, my partner and I were figuring on doing a little trapping. But this outlaw's hide seems to be a lot more valuable. And it is to me. Why don't you appeal to the law? This is a personal matter, and I don't want the law interfering. Well, I see. Say, why don't you go after it? Being a newcomer around here and not known, you might have a chance. That's right. I hadn't thought of that. You won't live to pay that reward. Andre Lafarge. He must be here. Maybe he threw it from outside. The Indian. Well, he got away. What is it? Looks like a smoke signal. See? Over there. It is a smoke signal. Indian telegraph? Can you make it out? It says... Tonight, store. <laughs> Most likely some brave making a date with his girlfriend. What do you see? An answering signal. Come on, we'll find out. Well, somebody was here. Well, it's a cinch that fire didn't light itself. Say, do you figure that message been a raid tonight? It might. We'll be on hand, just in case.
makes you think so? Well, it's a dame with them. And she's six foot tall. And she's not bowling. here. That must be Lafarge in his camp. Under cover. That's Lafarge with his gang behind him. We haven't a chance. Well, what will we do? I have an idea. Stay here. Don't bother putting that money away, Hatfield. You only have to take it out again. You must have made a nice profit on that last shipment of furs. How do you think you can get away with this, Lafarge? Until I break you, my friend. But I don't enjoy your company well enough to stand here talking. Hand it over. Drop that gun, Lafarge! This way, Lafarge!
Got him in the shoulder. Who is he? I don't know, but he helped us make our getaway. We'll have to take him with us. Oh, but Diane, we don't know who he is. He helped us escape. We can't leave him here like this. You're right. Renee, give me a lift. Come on, get him up there. That's the fourth time Lafarge has raided this store and got away with it. We better round up our men. Come on. All right. All right, boy. All right, get out. All right, fellas, let's take it. Come on. Nice sleep. Oh, I wasn't asleep. You're feeling better? Yes, much better. You might have done as much for me. What were you doing at Hatfields? Well, I guess the same thing you were. Sort of crossed each other up, eh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, perhaps you'd like some breakfast. Well, thanks. Now that you mention it, I am hungry. Oh, of course you are. I'll go get it right away. You are surprised to find a girl like my sister living here among us? Yes, I am. Why do you keep her here? I need her. Well, I guess she's safe enough. From what I hear, you know how to handle the police. The police. We make our own laws. Well, I guess that's the only way to run an outfit like this. Say, how about a razor? I think if I had a shave, I'd feel a lot better. <laughs> You're not strong enough to shave yourself. One of my men used to be a barber. I'll send him to you. Thanks. Breakfast is served. Fine. We have bacon, eggs, and toast and marmalade and hot coffee. Hot feels the other night. Yes. Oh, Henry. I've got a customer for you. Our guest would like a shave. But we, mon ami, I will be there in one minute. <laughs> what are you going to do with him, Chief? Oh, I haven't decided. You know, he might be a Mountie. That reward money looks pretty tempting. Yes, you're right. We'll keep an eye on him and see that he doesn't slip away. Have you always lived here? No, I was born in Montreal. I went to school there. Well, then, how did you happen to... Come in. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Eh, mon cher. It is the shave you wish? I certainly do. Shall I bring you some hot water? If you will be so kind, mademoiselle. Please do not trouble, mon cher. I am used to shaving the customer lying down. Well, how's that? You see... I was once an undertaker. <laughs> oh. Merci beaucoup, mademoiselle.
Haven't we met before, monsieur? Your face, it is very familiar. Why, well, I don't think so. Mais oui, monsieur. I never forget a face. Perhaps you were in uh, my shop in uh, Roberta? I never was in Alberta. Oh, well, it will come to me. Uh, how'd you come to leave Alberta? Oh, monsieur. It's a very sad story. You see, I have the wife. Très joli, très charmant. But she had one very bad fault. She talked too much. One day, I get a little bit annoyed. Just a little bit. And I slash her pretty throat. Just uh, like that. You see, monsieur, I'm very impulsive. Uh, yeah, I see. Isn't it beautiful? What a spot for a hideout. I hate to see you living up here, among outlaws. But I'm one of them. But it's all wrong. You surely don't like this sort of life, do you? No, I can't say I like it particularly. But I want to be with my brother. And you see, why talk about it? A Mountie. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's get him another chief. Come on, get up out of here. Don't you think we should go back to the camp? It's getting late. Do we have to? Well, I don't have to do anything, but I think we'd better. All right. Who is this man? Well, he's a Mountie. We caught him making signals down at the entrance. Who's your... I work alone. Then who are you making signals to? Uh, what's up? You just caught a Mountie. Hey, you don't know this fellow, do you? Well, I ought to. He's been trailing me over half British Columbia. And you sure gave me a run for my money. You've been after this man? I've been camped out yonder for the past week. You're under arrest. Just a minute. I don't think I can spare either one of you. Lock him up. I remember when I see you. It was in what you call the portrait and the reward notice. That's right. I tell you, I never forget a face. No, sir, you sure don't. <laughs> That's good. I 
You're pretty fond of him, aren't you? Yeah. You like him too, don't you? Don't you realize he's a criminal, a wanted man? So are we all, Andre. Surely we're no better than he. Yeah, well, that's true. You stay here, Diane. What happened? He made a break. I had to shoot him. Must have had it hidden in his boot. Get a blanket. I hated to do this, but it was his life or mine. Well, it's bad business shooting police officers. Go hard on us if his body's found up here. You're right. Why should you get mixed up in this? Let me get him away from here. Mm, why do that? Why not bury him right outside the camp? Well, uh, have you a box we could put him in? Uh, yes, we have a coffin. He was going to die, but he fooled us. You two boys, get that old box ready for the body. Here it is. Come on, get the Yeah, here's some. Get him in the box, Waggy. I had him. Lafarge knew I wasn't dead. How did he know? He felt my pulse. All right, hide. All ready for the body. All right, let's load her.
Anybody at home? Come on. How do you feel? What is this? Lafarge, you're under arrest. Then my men were right. You're a mobby. Yes. And what's the charge? Murder. Murder? You shot Sergeant Layton. Shot him down and killed him. He never had a chance. I seem to be accused of every crime committed in this part. Don't try that again. I think I'll lock you up. Stay ahead of me. This is my lucky day. I didn't expect you to drop in on me like this, Lafarge. Is this your place? Yes. Quite a little family gathering. Andre. Why did you bring her here? As a bait to trap you, my friend. We didn't know that you'd already walked into the trap. He didn't walk into it, Hatfield. No? No. I brought him here. Now, how about that reward? Oh, you're the young fellow I met in town. Well, you certainly earned it. And seeing that I have them both, I'm almost tempted to double that reward. Take them upstairs, boys, and lock them up. And stand guard. You stand guard here. I'll watch the outside. Say, how did you manage it? Pretended I was an outlaw and I got into their camp. <laughs> did you make the girl fall for you too? Say, I could use a smart young fellow like you. Why not join up? What do you mean? Well, we'll talk about that later. I'll have that reward for you in the morning. In the meantime, you just make yourself at home here. Thanks. If you don't mind, I'll look around a bit. We got some nice silver fox pelts. Good. What about those trappers? They sleep in their blankets when we jump them. What about Lafarge? Are you going to turn him over to police? And let him stand trial? Don't be a fool. Why, his testimony would put the noose around our necks. Those trappers. I wonder if anyone's found their bodies yet. Mm, I don't think so. Good. Saddle four fresh horses. Mm. We're going to take Lafarge and his sister to that camp. They'll be found beside the bodies of those trappers. It will look as though they attacked them and were killed there. Wait a minute. I don't mind Lafarge, but not the girl. Well, why not? She's just as dangerous as he is. Say, what's the matter? Are you getting soft-hearted? No. But you've got to count me out on this job. It didn't bother you much when you plugged that Mountie. And the authorities are still anxious to know who did it. It was your orders, Jim. 
And if you turn me in, you'll swing too. What do you mean? I'll tell them who killed old man Lafarge. What are you doing? Enjoying the air? No, guard duty. We got Lafarge and his sister upstairs. Where? Upstairs! Oh! What do you want? Hatfield, the man I'm after, and I just found it out. I'm going to get you out of here. Do you expect us to believe that? Oh, I know how you feel about it, Diane. But you've got to trust me. Now, this is what we'll do. Hey, Clark, come in here a minute. It seems to me that Peter's taking an awful long time. Yeah. I'll go in and find out what he's doing. Hey, Pete! Hurry up for those prisoners. They're waiting. Get them in the air, Hatfield. I've got everybody rounded up, but I don't know who is who. Ah, oh, my friend Burke. What are you doing up here? Well, I'm a neighbor of yours now, in command of the new post. Ah, oh, beautiful. Congratulations. Yes, she's inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's not exactly what I want. Oh, I'm sorry. It does seem like old times, though, having you and Andre run the store. Oh, we're certainly glad to be here, too. Well, I must be going. Goodbye.
Hmm. Want to buy them furs? Yes, I'll take a look at them. 